In this video, you'll learn how to fix audio levels with just a few clicks of your mouse button. You don't need Adobe Audition, Audacity, or alternate software like that, but instead use this one site that does it all. Hey, my name's Aurelius, and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews, and tutorials to help you scale your business with online tech. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss a thing. All right, so I've got ScreenFly open here, which is a screen recording app for Mac but I've recorded this kind of demo and it's got this audio that's pretty much silent. If I play it on my laptop here, I'm gonna increase the volume. It's on maximum level on my computer speakers and you can barely hear anything. So you can fix it in you know a number of ways. You could increase the volume on your video editing software. You can use Adobe Audition and things like that or external programs, but I found the easiest way is just to export the audio file, which I'll do right now. So in ScreenFly, I'll just go File, Export. I'm going to click on Customize and disable the export of the actual video first and just export the audio. From here, I'm just going to name it Audio Demo. Click on Export. Next up, the site that you want to go to so that you can import your audio and fix it all up is Orphonic, so orphonic.com. Head there, get a free account, which allows you up to two hours of audio processing for free. You can top it up with extra, I guess, credits. And from here, where you go is Productions. Click on New Production. Next up, click on Choose File. Here's my audio demo. I'm just going to click on Open now. At this point, it's not uploading just yet. We need to select some settings right here. So the output file, this is important. Depending on where your audio is going to go, that determines the format and the bit rate and all that. But let's say it's for a YouTube video. I'm just going to make sure I pick the, I guess, highest quality uh, audio fo format. So I'm just going to choose this lossless audio format. So Wave 24 bit. And make sure I then choose just the audio, not the video. If that appears for you, then close that off. Next up, we can also do the audio algorithms, um, select uh, adaptive leveler, uh, loudness. Now we can select and click on this question mark and that shows you what each of these options are about. But uh, I usually use, use a default, plus I also add noise and hum reduction. And I find that helps remove some of that background noise. So I'll click noise and hum reduction. The loudness target I usually leave at minus 16. So it shows this is normally for podcasts and mobile. So this is kind of the standard, I think, in my opinion. And it's worked well for me by you know uploading my YouTube videos. There are other options here, like um, you know, the intro, outro, and these are things that I guess are useful or maybe useful if you do things like podcasting. Um, you know, we've got extended metadata, chapter marks. All right, I usually don't enter any of the other details. Once that's all done, I'll just click on start production. And this gives you a summary and confirmation of what's going to happen. And once you're ready, click on start production. It will then upload and process the file. Depending on how long your audio file is, that'll determine how long it'll take to process. But in this case, my file is quite small, so it only took a few seconds. Now it's ready, I'm just going to click on download. This is the audio file I just downloaded. Now I'm back in my video editor. So what I'm going to do now is simply drag the processed audio file. And as you can see, now it's reading something. All I need to do now is just sync it with the existing audio and video like so. And then disabling the original audio file so that it doesn't play too, of course. And now when I play it back, it should play really crisp and high quality audio. So here it is, I'll play it back and you may not be able to hear this properly, of course, because that's playing from my computer speakers. His test is to fix the audio levels using Orphonic. So the output sounds pretty good. So there you go, that's how you fix your audio levels quickly and easily. If you found this video helpful, by all means hit that like button and if you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications for more. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to watch these videos next. Ooh.